Welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be live. I was just in the mood to sit down and chat like we used to, catch up, get the 411. So that's what we're doing today. I feel like so much has happened over the last just month. So I just wanted to sit down and catch up with my girls. I've missed the living, breathing daylight out of you, okay? I've missed your guts. So today we're just sitting down, we're catching up, doing our makeup together, and I'm not gonna lie to you, <clears throat> there's some tears shut, okay? Quite a few times, so. <laughs> I love you guys, and without further ado, let's jump in to this video. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm in my robe, but you know the degrees it's dropped outside Here's a little secret for you. There's no insulation. I'm not being dramatic I feel like there's no insulation on the bottom. Excuse me on this level I feel like there's no insulation in my house and it's just it's colder inside than it is outside at this point You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna get these little money pieces out of my face I get so much like makeup and self tanner in these pieces You could say it's embarrassing because I leave the salon with like these crispy bleach blonde money pieces And then within a week they go a little brown so I'm gonna work on that. <clears throat> I feel like I don't gatekeep much with you guys. You know what I mean? Anything really. I share way too much information on the internet. Almost every month I do my monthly favorites and I tell you all of my deepest, darkest loves. And I don't know how this hasn't. It was an accident, I swear. I'm not intentionally gatekeeping. This is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm in medium 30. Let me tell you something. Um, so this is my second one of this. I also have a third one here in another color. When I tell you. If you are anything besides dry as the Sahara Desert, I think you'll hate this, but I am as dry as the Sahara Desert. So this has been my favorite product, skin product this year. I wear it, I'm not kidding, every single day. So I just take a little bit onto my brush and it's this like full coverage, I mean like full coverage balm that just sinks into the skin and it just, oh, I'm not kidding when I say this is my holy grail. Do you see the difference? And I don't flake. You know what I mean? I'm Miss Flaky Cakey over here. All I do is flake, especially with all these little new patches of psoriasis I have on my face. And this, I feel like, really just, it keeps me hydrated. And what else could you ask for, you know? So, since my last video, since the podcast, I just feel like, I don't know, you guys, like, I don't, I just feel like such a, a sense of renewal and healing. I feel like there was so much that I couldn't tell you guys yet. Being diagnosed with anxiety disorder and severe depression, I felt like there was so much I needed to work on myself first, you know, before I could come on here and just be that open book again. Since opening up about it, finally being in that place where I felt like I could talk about it, since that podcast went live, I just feel, I don't know. It's true what they say, like sharing your real life experiences and what you're going through creates connectivity with others and connecting with others brings that sense of healing and renewal. And I've just had like the most amazing conversations with so many of you, whether it was at the meet and greet we did at the Gymshark event or in my DMs or comments, like I just just feel so overwhelmed with gratitude and and that's all thanks to you guys so thank you you know i talk about how people like i don't know there's just a side of the internet that where people will take your things like your whatever your problem is your mental health struggles and use it against you or mimic you and i feel like i've been seeing that so much online about me this year like if i'm gone for a couple months i remember i made a post on instagram and i said talked about like thank you for allowing me to take the time off social media that i needed and then seeing <laughs> seeing that being mocked and mimicked like it really made me want to close off for so long and i did and I don't know, finally opening up about it after feeling I needed to be so closed off. Listen, this isn't gonna work. Doing a makeup video, okay, and crying. Thank you, thank you so much. I don't know, I just feel like finally, I feel like a million and 10,000 pounds has been lifted off my chest and I feel like I can just be me again. I just wanted to thank you if you sent a message or you listened to the podcast or you watched my video, you just, if you listened with an open heart and an open mind, I just wanna say, thank you because you have brought so much healing and love and support into my life in a time where I really needed it. 
so thank you okay i do have quite the um i have quite the mustache i need to shave off but we'll address that at a later date you know what i mean okay so that's the skin perfecting balm i love it i'm sorry for gatekeeping it if you are dry i think you'll love that product i'm excited to see how it performs this winter because i've only been using it like all spring all of summer now fall which leads me to my next discussion point when i say like i am terrified leading into fall first of all i don't like fall okay i do not like fall i've never liked fall i don't like decorating for fall i skip all that i don't like pumpkin decor i don't like pumpkin spice you know what i do let me, let me tell you something there's this like vegan bake shop that's in my area and they make gluten-free little mini vegan cake so i don't have to worry if it's dairy-free or gluten-free it just is and there are these little they call it a pumpkin lasagna and it's like this like almond crust and then like some like whippy and then it's pumpkin and you know what i'll make an exception for that because it's the most delicious thing i've ever eaten the other day i went there i got three of them and i'm gonna wake but besides that i'm not like a pumpkin spice kind of gal it's just not who i am i don't like fall because it's so close to winter and winter's just such a winter's my least favorite like when it's spring and summer okay when it's end of spring and summer i feel like that's who i am that's when i'm happiest and this year like summer brought so much healing into my life i'm so nervous heading into fall and winter because i don't do well with the sun setting at five and it's being freezing and it just it's not a season that brings me a lot of joy so i'm a little nervous heading in especially i feel like last winter was so hard for me especially like january february so i'm just dreading it you guys i'm very nervous i watched this tiktok and obviously depression is very new to me it was something that i was just diagnosed with this year and have only been suffering with for about a year and a half now he made this tiktok about how like you feel so good in this moment and like your anxiety starts automatically pushing you towards like you know something's coming and it's not good and it's so weird because i remember sitting down and journaling it was the last day of july and i remember sitting down and just journaling about how finally like july was the first time in over a year where I felt like me again I felt so happy but like in the back of my mind I kept like I kept thinking to myself like something's coming and then August was brutal you know I talked about how that podcast there's days where you just can't leave your bed like you're just so low and that was August for me and so it's like I'm coming off this high right like September the month of September it's a month I hope I never ever ever forget like the week that I spent in LA celebrating the launch of my third collection with Gymshark like I keep telling everyone it is without a doubt one of the happiest weeks of my whole life. I just felt like, I felt like me again and I felt so happy and just so like in bliss. Like, I don't have depression. I don't have anxiety. What do you mean? Like, I was just sitting here. It's October 1st and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm still riding this like high and I'm so scared for what comes next. And so that's just like a weird thing that's been happening like in my mind lately. I don't know. It's so hard to explain because I've never felt emotions like this before, but being being in a stage where I've like accepted where I'm at, you know, I finally have accepted my diagnosis, if you will. It's just a whole new, I don't know you guys, I feel like I'm like living a whole new life over here. I'm like, oh no. So are these the things that I'm gonna have to be dealing with the rest of my life or am I gonna be this scared every October 1st? Okay, so going in with some cream contour. Love a cream contour. This is the Makeup by Mario contour stick. What is this? Soft sculpt shaping stick in medium. It's okay. It's nice. I like it. I'm more of like a, I mean, listen, I'm a sucker for cream contour okay so i have like my nars one the anastasia one the refi one and then the stick i like the stick because it's more cool tone so it actually looks like it's contouring rather than just bronzing where my other three are definitely very like bronzing products i kind of take it everywhere i found that it's easier for me to just apply it to the brush and then swipe it on rather than like drawing drawing sticks drawing lines on my face to um, don't blur out so i'm keeping everything really high so instead of bronzing like at my ear where i used to and staying in that area I take everything just like to the top of my ear and then bronze up and I've really liked how that like I don't know, sculpts my face lately. I don't know. You know me, I'm not a makeup expert. I can't tell you guys the amount of fear that I had sitting down with <laughs> Manny MUA, like Manny's OG. Like I have been watching beauty videos on YouTube since I was in high school and then all through college. And it's just like one of those main OG beauty gurus is Manny MUA. So imagine me driving to his house in LA. Hold it up. Hi. 
sitting in a studio, like professional studio, you guys. You know I I film in all natural light. I don't have this professional setup. It's me, you, the camera, and a window, and that's it. I don't use any light. This is all just natural, which is why I like always tell you guys, I'm like, sorry if the sun's moving, because if there's like clouds and stuff, you know, there's a change in lighting. I've never been more intimidated, more scared. I will link that video below. I love that video. I feel like you guys definitely see like the introverted Whitney, because it's just me and you right now. You know what I mean? Well, in Indian Navy, but I won't even film in front of Stefan. I'm like, Stefan's in the gym right now. I said, listen, you go work out. I'm going to talk to my ladies. So I don't know. That's just like one of those moments in my life where I remember like watching Manny years and years ago when he was doing a ton of clouds. And I was like, oh my gosh, like that'd be so sick if that was ever me. But like, you never think it's going to be you. You know what I mean? Like I, I would physically, I would say verbally out loud, that will never be me. Okay. Yeah, it happened. And it was, I'm telling you, what did I say? It was one of the best weeks of my whole life. And we filmed that video that week. Wow. What, what a true honor that was. And he's just amazing. He's such an amazing human being. So I'm going to link that video below if you want to watch another Get Ready With Me that's now live on Manny's channel. So I'm going to cream and contour my nose a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not very good at it. So I find if I go a little too crazy with it. Where's this accent coming from? If I go too crazy with it, then it's like very obvious. You know what I mean? So I just kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Keep it a little more subtle. So yeah, that was the highlight of the week. Once I'm done with a cream contour, I'll just take my blender and just kind of take it all over my face to make sure everything's blended seamlessly. You know what it is, ladies. When in doubt, dab it out. Only my OGs will know. Okay, so I've fallen back in love with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I guess it's not that I've fallen back in love. It's that I've fallen in love for the first time. I feel like everyone and their mother has talked about this concealer for years. And, you know, listen, me and my eyeballs, we're going through something right now. My eyeballs hate me. They hate my sunscreen. They hate my favorite concealer in the whole world. Because this truly is the best concealer in the whole world. I would choose this concealer over this concealer any day. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. And Oat, but this, I don't know what it is, but lately it's just been killing my eyeballs, killing my eyeballs. So I'm taking a breather from her. If you need full coverage, this is your girl. Until my eyeballs, I don't know. Maybe I should go get them checked out. So I'm just gonna let this concealer sit for a sec. I also have this pot concealer from NARS that if I feel like I have any dark spots, like I've been breaking out a ton every period right now, I'm breaking it around my mouth, which is very unique for me. I'm usually a forehead breaker outer. And right now it's been like all around my mouth. So I have just like a few dark spots that I'm working through, you know? So if I ever feel like I need to add a little, a little bit, I take the NARS concealer that matches my concealer, okay. We can also cover up my little mustache there. I'll shave it tonight. It actually grew back really fast this time. Usually I'm like, okay, good. I'll shave and I'll be like, okay, I'm good for the month. No, she's back. She's loud and she's proud. And I'll tell her what's up tonight. I'm gonna shave her off and then I'm gonna bring a little bit of light to my forehead and then down my nose and just as much. I'm also in this massive internal debate about whether or not I'm going to do Whitmas. And if I don't do Whitmas, I... Listen, here's the thing. Whitmas rocks me. And I'm saying it rocks me to a whole nother level. It is the most challenging thing I've ever put myself through. Like mentally and physically, Whitmas is draining. Because you got to think of the video ideas. You need to film all of these videos. It's 12 videos. The first two years I did 25 videos. I don't know how I ever did that. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if I should do Whitmas again or not. I just can't. Listen. I feel like I could try it and then if you know what you guys know the tea now you guys know what's going on here if I felt like it was absolutely demolishing my mental health again, I could just, hey everyone, I don't know, I, I can't do it. I never, like if I'm gonna do something, I say I will do it, or I will do it. So if I'm like, we're doing 12 videos of Whitmas, I will do 12 videos of Whitmas. Sometimes it does kill me along the way, especially cause it's like, you wanna enjoy the holidays. And so when I'm filming every single day, you don't really, not a lot of joy is to be had sometimes. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with Whitmas. Okay, so now I just take my ring finger now that my concealer is dried down a bit and and dab this out and I find that a because it's dry it keeps that full coverage instead of it slipping and sliding I find it's a little bit more bright see how bright that's looking at my eyeball and most importantly it just doesn't blend away it blends out without blending away boom now let me put you guys on something I was put onto this and now I feel like I need to put you onto it so first of all I saw it all over TikTok and then it was sold out forever this is the prism libre powder in shade number three it was sold out forever like TikTok took this and sold it out and then I finally got my hands on it I always do my own makeup for shoots but for some reason for some reason for my Gymshark shoot we did in July I was like you know what let's hire a professional this amazing human being Melissa was talking about this powder too and I'm like this is a sign not only has TikTok
TikTok talked about this forever. Then they sold it out. Now Melissa's talking about it. It finally came back in stock and it really is like the most beautiful product to set your under eyes. So I'm just taking this little brush, pat, pat, pat. But before I pat, pat, pat with any powder, I use the tiniest bit like this. Powder will last me, I don't know, the rest of my life. I'll blend away any creasing because I like, it doesn't matter what concealer I use, okay? I will crease on my under eyes. It's just who I am and it's just who my eyeballs are and I'm not mad at them for that. I'm trying not to piss my eyeballs off, you know? I can't sit here and start talking my eyeballs because they're really mad at me right now. It's too much trauma for me. Set that down. Now it's time. I kind of go in a funky order because I'm gonna go bronzer and then I'll go cream blush. So this is such an old school product. I kind of forgot about it. It's the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Haven't used this in years and years and years, but I'm like, I'm back on my Hoola game and I'm just gonna set that cream contour we put down to nice and high, nice and high, bringing it up through my temple and then on my forehead as well. Kind of just sets, sets my cream bronzer in place. No slipping and sliding over here. I think once it gets more cold, I won't even use anymore. I'll completely take my powder products out of my routine, which I usually do every winter, but I don't know. I feel like right now I still get a little too glowy sometimes, which I love, but you guys don't. You've been very vocal that you don't. So I've been starting to set my face a little bit more so y'all can't call me out for that anymore. And then of course on my jawline, you know how it is. Do, 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 do. How are we looking? I feel like the camera's so far away, I can't say anything. Hi. Oh, little close. Hi. Hi. Okay, stop that. I'm going to go the other way. <laughs> okay, to finish the complexion, because that's really all I do besides blush. Have I talked to you guys about this yet? I think the last time I talked to you, I talked to you about the Melt Blush in Sandy Cheeks. This is like its baby sister, but it's not as emollient as the Melt one. So they're like almost the exact same color too. It's kind of crazy. This one's a little deeper and then it's not as emollient as this one. So I find that most of the time, I'm not saying I'm gonna do it today, but most of the time I can just do this and I'll set it with the cream blush and it will stay all day long. This wouldn't be a get ready with me. I'm gonna do two blushes. This is the Refi blush in Citrine, and I'm just gonna apply it to the tops of my cheekbones, bring it up into my little eyeball area, temple. I don't know, you guys. You know, the blush addiction, <clears throat> it's still going strong. It's still really going strong. It's embarrassing how strong the blush addiction is. You know what I mean? And I feel like it just adds such beautiful warmth, especially if I'm doing like one of these more bronzy looks. Am I making any sense here? Me trying to be a beauty girl. Mm. Delicious, truly delicious. You know, here's the thing. We all know it. Blush is the first to go. So why not just go wild with it? Why not go wild with it? Why not go crazy? I'm maybe gonna take a little bit on top of my nose for that. Hey, is she sunburnt or is she wearing orange blush? Effect, thank you. Lovely. I don't have an eyeshadow palette over here. I don't know, if I wanna set that with another blush, I will use this one. This used to be my favorite blush in the entire world. Then Kylie Cosmetics reformulated all of their stuff. This is in the shade Crush. It's a very beautiful blush. Very beautiful blush. Like if I would have done a 2019 my favorite blushes in the whole wide world video. This would have been number one. Is it number one still? I don't know. I don't know. I think it might be. It's the only powder blush besides like this really orangey one that I have sitting here. Oh, you know what? I do have this. Oh, I forgot how much I have this one. Okay, this is the Charlotte Tilbury. This blush in ecstasy. You know what? That would be my number one. And then this would be number two. It's really nice. Boom. Skittily doodly do. A lot of blush. It'll be gone by the end of this video. Okay, don't you dare worry. Don't you dare worry. We are working on not worrying. Thank you. Love that. Love that. That's nice. Let me put you guys onto something crazy. Crazy. First of all, let's powder a little bit before I put on this next product. So I'm just going to take a little bit of face powder and just set kind of around my nosy. Now, normally I wouldn't do this unless I'm doing my faux frax. So I'm just going to set this area down a smidge for my chin, my mustache. Powdered down my nose a little bit. Okay, faux frex. You either love them or you hate them. I absolutely love them. And I've been using the Freck pen forever. It's just this little tiny, tiny, tiny pen. You dot it all over. And it makes the most like natural, beautiful faux frex. If you're gently dipping your toes into a faux frex family, you should start with this. Now, if you're at the stage where I'm at, you know, we've been doing faux frex for quite a few months now. You are obsessed with faux frex, okay? You want to have faux frex across your entire face. 
it's life-changing this product right here so this is the freckles in shade two comes with this little pick you flick these little faux frecks across your whole face i also have shade three but i find two is a little more subtle you see this it's a little spoolie and i'm just gonna flick this onto my face and create the most like natural i mean i don't know if you could say natural it gives the effect of more natural freckles whereas sometimes with the freck pen if you don't blend it in really quickly then you can tell it's like i individually pointed this all onto my face whereas this it's like that's what I was talking about, where my money pieces just get makeup all in them. <gasps> so I take some on my nose, take some onto my cheeks. I don't know, I kind of go crazy with it. And then before it sets down, because obviously like that looks a little crazy, then I'll take my finger and these blend in so, I mean like so well. So now that they're kind of on my eyelid a little bit, which just I feel like a little on my forehead, around my nose. I don't know, I feel like it looks a little bit more, less precise than when it gets with the freck pen. Let me look at this up close. Yeah. See, I'm kind of like some down here. That is nice. That is so nice. I'm gonna do a little more. I don't know, you guys. Oh, okay. Well, got that everywhere. Might need to order a new one. Not my Tati Beauty palette. Oh, before they blend in, let me tap that out. Okay. Yes. That is okay so that's the faux frex that i've been doing lately beautiful product i mean truly that's just one of those products that i'm like wow this is revolutionary i don't love that it did ruin my tati beauty palette but we'll just wipe that around i'm gonna go in with just a tiny bit of eyeshadow i'm telling you one thing this palette is still it's my number one i'm really hoping now that miss tati is back we will get some we'll get another palette here soon i'm just gonna add a little little brightness to my inner corner i don't know i found that the sloppier i am with my eyeshadow the better luck that i have you know what i mean if i try to stay too precise with it that's where i'm like oh this girl she's really trying to do eyeshadow and she can't do it i don't know i have to just say i have to just say a massive thank you to absolutely anyone who supported my gymshark collection by watching my haul video about it by you don't even have to purchase it to support it Ugh. okay first of all we all know the drama we all know the team the last two years we sold out my collection of gymshark in minutes and there have been a, rightfully so a lot of angry people about it and you guys have been so vocal over the last two years i guess three years now i just have to say like i wouldn't have this opportunity to create these collections and work with the design team if it wasn't for you guys like if the demand wasn't there then i wouldn't have these opportunities so truly from the very bottom of my heart thank you you guys were so vocal about wanting some more units. And this is the first year where we launched, and I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this. I'm probably gonna have to get clearance to even say this, but this is the biggest buy that Gymshark has ever made in the history of purchasing their making orders, I don't know. like So Gymshark has never made a bigger buy, like the amount of units purchased for this launch was just, <sighs> And I want to, I, I don't know, I just feel so, I'm so grateful that you guys love this collection and you guys have supported my collection so much and like the intention was never, like there was so much stock of this collection that A, you can still go on the website now and get almost everything from the range. I think a lot of the tops are gone, but like all the leggings and shorts are still here. So the intention was to have stock for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And so I'm just so grateful that, I don't know, like every launch is always like, the last two launches have just been very you launch and then you're like my dms and comments or gymshark's pages comments are just like immediately filled with so many upset customers and rightfully so rightfully so and so for launch this time to like just see nothing but i got everything i wanted i was like internal no i was externally screaming i was it was such a beautiful amazing launch day we're so i mean majority of the people got absolutely everything that they wanted and then they got their orders and they loved it and they went back for more because they're still stock and so it's just overwhelmed i'm just I don't know. I'm when I say it was the best week of my life, I mean to just know that you guys like finally got what you wanted. There was no drama. To know that my girls were taken care of, that Gymshark did that. They did that, man. They met your demand. And it's just, I don't know. My heart could truly melt into a puddle of happiness. And I haven't felt that way in a very long time. So I just I have to say thank you. Every single person that I have seen in this collection looks so beautiful. I'm sure you guys are so tired, like especially if you follow me on Instagram. I keep reposting you guys in my collection because you look so insane gorgeous truly gorgeous truly what an amazing i mean this is just a moment in my life where you don't feel worthy like you really you don't i don't i don't know why i get this opportunity i don't <sighs> 
I truly like I don't feel worthy to have this opportunity sometimes and um, and I know it wouldn't be possible without you guys So I just have to say thank you so much. Look at this <sighs> You did this to me. This paper towel is covered in faux frac, so now I need to go get a new one. BRB. Anyways, I don't know you guys. I don't know. I don't. It's something that I truly like. I don't feel worthy of this opportunity. And I think that's why I'm so like, I'm so grateful for Gymshark for like believing in me and believing in my vision for this collection and for the amazing design team for helping me bring it to life. And to see you guys wearing it and just like the, um, the messages that I get of you guys just say you feel so comfortable and beautiful in this range. Like that's what it's all about. <sighs> I told you guys, I'm on a high, I've been emotional. I don't know what is wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know, you know what, nothing's wrong with me. I'm just so, I feel like when you're in such a low point in your life for so long, which is kind of where I've been, kind of where I've been. I don't know, to, to like see the light again, even though I feel like something bad is coming. These moments like truly just, they have so much more meaning to me now in the sense where like a good day, and what I mean by that is just like, a good day is just like so rare right now. <laughs> to have a good week, it was just, uh, it's truly a moment in time I will never forget. And it was the first time we had, so we did a Gymshark X Whitney pop-up event and there was four sessions. And in each session we did a panel talk and we heard from like the most inspiring, incredible women in each panel talk. And just to be in a room with, it was like such a like girl power event where I was just in this room looking out at these like beautiful women and then to meet every single one of you and hug you guys it was just like i've never needed a hug so much my whole life so the event was just incredible it was just an incredible week the launch was just incredible i mean to see you guys in the collection looking so beautiful it's just so surreal and so these are the moments like i think about these moments in my life is these are the moments where like i can't wait to be and hopefully i get to live this long but I can't wait to be like a grandma like sitting in a rocking chair in a room with like my kids and their kids like and like tell these stories or like show the videos I don't know to like after struggling with suicidal thoughts to think like maybe I will to like feel that I still want to be here and like I want that to be my future <sighs> yeah I don't know you guys why did I bother doing my makeup should I just should I just have sat here and cried instead sure Okay, we're getting nowhere because I just keep crying and dabbing. <sighs> so I just went in with this brown and this brown, blended that all on there, pretended to know what I was doing. I'm gonna take a little bit on my lower lash line of this dark brown or just kind of trace my eyes with it to like give it a more smudgy effect, make it look like I'm wearing eyeliner without actually wearing eyeliner. You know me and eyeliner, we have beef, okay? Ew, I've cried so much. I cried away all of my concealer. How uncomfortable for me. Okay, I went ahead and curled my lashes, put some mascara on. I have been obsessed with the Rare Beauty. I think it's like the Upswing mascara. It's wonderful, truly wonderful. Look at that, couple coats of this bad boy. Lashes are good to go. I'm still doing the same brow, fluffy brow technique that I showed you in my last video using the Refi Brow Gel. I feel like I finally figured out the trick to not have like white fluffies all in your eyebrows. Oh, I also added a little glitter from the Tati Beauty palette on my eyes inspired by Manny himself. So what I've figured out is you want to coat. So I coat my whole brow in this. Before it dries, you have to fluff it into place and then you cannot move it again. So completely coat my brow, fluff it up. And then before it dries, I go ahead and brush it into place. And then once it's dry, you cannot touch it again. That's when like you get the white flakies. So get your brow into place, let it dry, and then do not touch it. And that'll save you from getting the white flakes throughout your brows all day. Listen, quite the learning curve with this product, but nothing holds a fluff better than this product. It is so good. Like I never have to worry about having fluffy brows again with this. As most fluffy brow products, you lose the fluff after a couple hours. Not with this bad boy. So that's my brow. I still have to fill it in, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm not gonna touch my brow once this brow gel dries. Boom, okay. So now that my brows are fluffed, they're in place, I'm not gonna brush them out again. Unless you want white flakies all over your face. Cause you know it always gets above your eyebrow too. I'm gonna go in with my tried and true. This is the brow flake from Glossier. And just kind of fill in some of those sparse areas. I know that the fluffy brow is like still, I don't know why. It's like still such a topic of debate. It's either you love a fluffy brow or you hate it. And I've been a hardcore fluffy brow lover since day one. So if you don't like the fluffy brow, it's a crazy concept but you don't have to do 
know what? <laughs> and you don't have to bring others down for doing a fluffy brow. Okay, fluffy brow haters. So just lightly filling in. I feel like, I mean, I haven't touched my brows in years at this point. So I almost feel like I don't have to fill it in as much. Once they're like fluffed up, they look pretty full. So I just lightly flick any strokes in if I feel like I need it. I like filling in my arch a little bit and then calling it a day. I will not brush it out again though. Okay, lesson learned, lesson learned. All right, I feel like I don't wanna brag, but after years of searching, I might have finally found my perfect nude lip liner. This is the Melt Cosmetics Perfect perfectionist lip pencil in bear i've been using like lip plumpers lately i really like them this is the grande lips hydrating lip plumper so i put that on in the beginning so whatever's left i'm gonna take off and then i'm gonna go in with this lip liner and line my lips with some nude babs nude lip i really like this as a pencil as well i just recently got this so don't hold me to it yet but i feel like we're i feel like we're pretty close to finding my my nude lip probably should have zoomed this in that's what a real beauty guru would have done I feel like you're all up in my girl now though you like a little too much there we go. That's a little better. See? Like, that's pretty... That's pretty close to my natural color. I might have done it. I can't believe how bad my mustache is. I really have to take care of that today. So I overline my upper just like a smidge. Why the heck not? And then I recently picked up these two lippies from NYX that I feel like everyone and their mother has except for me. So these are the Soft Matte Lip Cream. One is in London and one is in Abu Dhabi. I think I'm gonna try London today. Mm-hmm. That is nice nice all right you guys that's it that's my get ready with me today this is kind of besides the eyeshadow this has really been my like every day i'm talking every day go to especially my kbd beauty belt all right you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i'm sorry that we got a little emotional a lot of emotions lately coming from me i feel like we've turned a new leaf i feel like big things are coming i don't know what they are but i just want to say thank you i know over the last year i've been very absent on youtube which i explain all about the podcast so i will link the podcast below if you haven't listened to it thank you for your overwhelming support and love over the last month and yeah soon we'll get into wedding planning we're officially a year away from the wedding so i feel like it's safe to finally start planning i should probably go find a dress in but i can't wait to take all of you my bffs my girls with me i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and until next time i will see you next time